What's going on everyone and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be going over my new uh, rear cargo setup in my 4Runner. I got a new setup that I made and I got tired of having my big bulky uh, drawer system back there. It was just taking up too much space and I feel like it wasn't as efficient as it needed to be. So um, I made a platform right here um, out of plywood and I carpeted it and everything and it's bolted down to the truck and that's how I'm mounting the fridge slide and you can it's super easy to mount stuff and I got some new toolboxes and drawers from Walmart that I'm using to organize everything and store everything and then I got a new fridge um, from set power they actually gave me this fridge so I'm trying that out and so far it's been awesome and then I got a fridge slide from Amazon that I'm running and uh, that works great too but um, I'm going to go over the full build process on this platform in the back. Uh, I guess you can call it a mounting platform. And then I'm going to go over the super cool toolboxes from Walmart and uh, how I'm going to be using them. So um, I'll start with the toolboxes from Walmart and then we'll start the build process of that platform and go over mounting the fridge and all that cool stuff. So uh, let's get started. So these toolboxes right here are made by Hart. I guess it's like Walmart's brand of tools, I don't know. Um, but they're super cheap and they work great. And I just have it bungeed right now. Let me see if I can get that off of one hand. Okay. So I have it bungeed to that back uh, mount. You can see right there. Um, it's just a rubber bungee that I put around to hold it so it doesn't bounce around when I'm driving. So these are uh, just toolboxes, I guess, for mechanics or contractors or, you know, whoever wants some stackable, lockable toolboxes. And um, you buy all of these separate. So every single one of these things I bought separate. And if you have a different setup or if you have less gear than I have or you just want to build your own kind of style setup, you can mix and match all these things. And, you know, if I wanted to put the drawers higher, I could swap them up higher, put the toolboxes down low. So it's pretty cool and they're super budget friendly. So um, I'll try to link all of these in the description if, um, if I can find them online. If not, just go to your local Walmart and they should have them. That's all I did. I went to Walmart and these were all literally at one store right down the road from my house. All right, so let's start with the top. So on top right here I have, um, I think this is like a clipboard style box and I am just storing all my cutlery in there, my knives, my silverware, a knife sharpener and things like that so those are easy to access. And then right here this is a small little box that I'm going to be putting toothpaste and soap and toothbrushes in. And then we have two toolboxes right here that um, are completely weatherproof. Actually, all of these are weatherproof. Let me show you. You can see the rubber lining on the inside right here and uh, they'll, they'll uh, hold moisture out for sure. So these two toolboxes I'm using, um, the top one, I just have my plates, pans, I got a cast iron pan, I got dish soap, seasoning and stuff like that for cooking. Then on the second one right here, I just have uh, random camp things, um, a cutting board, which I also got at Walmart, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be using that at the end of this description. And then I have, you know, dude wipes, camp lights, fire starters, uh, stakes, tie downs, batteries, waterproof matches, just a bunch of random things. And then down here on the bottom, this is a really cool toolbox. So it locks right here so you can lock it if you want to. And it has two drawers that pull out and they're super smooth. Um, right here I just have a tire repair kit just in case we get a flat off road. It's got plugs, patches and things like that. And then right here I have a jump starter, uh, some straps. And then the jump starter kit and a little uh, air compressor hose because this is also an air compressor too. So that's just like an emergency type deal. And then uh, this cutting board that I got at Walmart, I'll try to link this in the description below too just in case y'all want to run this setup. It fits right in here perfect. So you can see um, it's jammed in there. The, the drawer won't close and it won't open more. I can move it around and it won't come off. So you know I can cut up vegetables or meat or whatever on there. Uh, whenever we're cooking so the cool thing about these toolboxes is 
they're all lockable right here with these little blue tabs you just push that in and it locks into this little insert right here on, on uh, the accessories so I can take all this apart and um, you know if you guys want to run a different setup and lock things together it's super easy like right there I just moved that box to the top of the clipboard and it's stuck in there I can take off these toolboxes if I wanted to move them around so it's it's like the possibilities are endless with this setup you know I think this will work for anybody's needs depending on how much gear you have or where you want to store it and they are all weatherproof and um, they're built pretty dang well so that's how I'm gonna be running everything right now I might change it up later on but I think that this is a good setup for me and what I like most about it is it doesn't take up your whole cargo area like a drawer system did for me so I have a 50 quart or 53 quart fridge right here which is this is a big fridge and then I have all my stuff that I would have had in my drawer system right here in these boxes and it's mobile I can just take it out at camp if I need to then I have all this area right here to store stuff whenever we're on a trip you know stuff for the kids tables chairs whatever and uh, it works great so if you're getting tired of your um, of your bulky drawer system or if you don't want to spend you know a thousand plus dollars on buying one from somebody or you know days on building one of your own just go to walmart get those behind me and they work great it's it's actually really 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 nice so besides the toolboxes um, i added the fridge slide to this platform which is uh made by bougie rv or bouge rv uh, i don't know how you pronounce it but it works great um, it was easy to mount and it's built very well it's all steel it has these nice bearings it's got this little button to push down whenever you want to slide it out and then it's got a fastener for the fridge too so you can run any different size fridge on here and it'll fasten it and tight it tighten it down so yeah um, I just thought I'd show you guys those toolboxes right there um, like I said they're from your local Walmart if you guys want some uh, good storage options for your your uh, overlanding rig there they are so um, now I'm gonna jump back a couple days to building that storage platform on the forerunner and go through the process on that and uh, show you guys how we did it all right guys so first things first have these two mounting points right here on the back of the uh, cargo area and those are just two 10 millimeter bolts pry off this little plastic piece right there and you take off this 10 millimeter and there's another one over there um, I already got that one taken off but let me get this off really quick okay there's one two and then this is just snapped on so you just literally just pop it off and my truck's a mess so don't judge me so after you get that off just measure what you need um, I guess all fifth gens are gonna be the same so my measurements were 37 and a quarter inches by 41 and a quarter inches then after I took my measurements and everything uh, I just went to Lowe's and I got a, a piece of uh, three-quarter inch plywood and I had them cut it for me because I didn't feel like messing with it at my house so that saved me a lot of time so I'll show you all how it looks uh, inside there really quick so there's our piece of plywood so now what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to measure and drill out the two 10 millimeter holes and then I'm gonna run a bolt into there and then I uh, saw online um, a mounting platform that a uh, company sells and what they do is they have a piece of metal that goes that's mounted to this and it goes underneath this plastic right here to hold the front from bouncing around so I'm gonna fab something up like that. I got some flat stock metal. I'm gonna cut it, bolt it to the plywood, and slide it underneath. All right, so I just measured everything off. So from the back of the seat back to the uh, threaded mounting holes, it's about three and a quarter inches on both sides. And then on the right side, uh, passenger side, you're gonna need five and three quarters inches inside. And then from the driver's side in, it's going to be six and a quarter inches inside. So I got those measurements written down. I'm gonna mark everything up and drill out my holes.
All right, we got our two holes drilled out and um, I just test fitted it in the Forerunner and it works out perfect. So now, um, show you. So now I got this cheap uh, outdoor carpet from Lowe's. You see right there, it's a six by eight piece. And um, I'm gonna be using a spray adhesive and a staple gun to mount this on to the uh, board. Now that I got the uh, top put on, I put the, car the uh, plywood over and I'm going to be using my staple gun and some more spray adhesive and a knife and I'm going to start mounting it on the bottom side and trimming the corners off. I got it put on and guys keep in mind that I do not have the slightest clue on how to wrap corners and stuff I just watched a quick YouTube video and I think I did it right I don't know but as long as it looks good from the top that's all that matters so this is my half-assed job of uh, wrapping it in carpet so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, cut through the two bolt holes on this side and then I'm going to mount this metal straps that we're going to be putting on the front side as well. All right, so I'm going to show you all the uh, hardware that I'm using really quick. So the factory bolts for those mounting points behind the rear seats uh, are right here. These are an M6, but these are going to be too short to put through the three quarter inch plywood. So I got some M6 by 35 millimeter right here. And then uh, just some fender washers to put on top of the wood. And then for the front, I'm actually going to be using these, uh, these eye bolts. So they can double as like a tie down point. And then I'm going to be mounting um, these little straps right here. I actually just had these laying around the garage and I think they're going to work perfect. So it's basically going to go like this. It's going to be bolted to the plywood. And then the loose end right here is going to slide underneath the plastic. But I'll show you all guys after we get it mounted on. So uh, I'm going to get started on that. Oh yeah, now one more thing. I'm going to be reusing the factory anchor points. It's pretty cool. All you got to do is pull these out of there. And I'm going to um, bolt those on as well. So we'll have anchor points in the back of this thing and in the front. Let's do it real quick. All right. All right, there she is. So I was able to use the uh, eye bolt on this side, but I just realized that I am gonna be putting a fridge slide on this side. So I didn't wanna put an eye bolt because I think that'd get in the way with the operation of the fridge slide. So I just used a regular bolt on this side, and then we have our other two up there that are gonna go up against the back seats. And then we have our lip right here that's gonna slide under the plastic, and then our other lip right here. So I'm going to put this thing in the truck and show you all the uh, final product. All right, it is mounted in. So I got both sides in the front. These bolts tighten down and the lip is underneath the plastic and then this side as well. I mean, it's solid. Like that's me pulling like really hard right there. So that's not going to be shifting around or moving when we're out, you know, on the trails or whatever. And then those two are just bolted to the factory points. So it worked out perfect and it looks good. It looks neat. It looks uniform with the rest of the truck. And uh, it's going to make mounting things in here a lot easier. So I have a fridge slide coming in the mail. It's supposed to be in later on this afternoon or tomorrow morning. So I'm going to be mounting that on this side. And then on this side, I'm going to have that whole area open. Um, compared to what I was running before, I had that big drawer system that I made. And it took up like half of the cargo space in this thing so i'm gonna love this system way better but when that fridge slide comes in 
I'm going to be mounting it in there and I will include that in this video and show you guys kind of like the uh, final setup that I'm going to be using. So we'll see y'all when that happens. All right, we are back. It is the next day and our fridge slide came in. Check it out. So this is the uh, Bougie or Bouge RV fridge slide. I got it on Amazon. It was like, uh, I think I paid like 130 bucks or 140 bucks for it. But it's actually really, really nice. You can see it's got ball bearings right here. And then one cool thing that I liked about it was that this is adjustable for the size fridge that you're using. So if you're running a bigger fridge, you just loosen it and it widens the gap in between where the fridge mounts. So it's pretty cool. And then we got all of our uh, mounting hardware right here. It came with these little uh, threaded, I don't even know what you call them, but you basically drill out your plywood and then you hammer this down in there, I guess. And uh, and then you put you bolt it into the plywood that way. So I don't know if I'm gonna use these yet or not. I'm gonna try a couple out and see how they work. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, we are all done. Check it out. So I got the platform back in, the fridge slide mounted, the fridge installed, and we got all kinds of extra room right here. So uh, let me open this up really quick and uh, show you guys how we mounted it. So I did end up using those T-nuts. Um, I used eight of them. So one, two, three, and then there's one underneath here. So four on each side and I mean this thing's not going anywhere. Those T-nuts are super strong and I can try to lift up the platform as hard as I can and it's not moving. So it worked out perfect. All right, so that is it for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions on the process or um, anything that I didn't cover in this video as far as like dimensions go or anything, uh, just shoot, shoot me a comment on this video. I'm pretty good about replying to them and um, I'd be glad to help you guys as much as I can. But it came out nice and um, I'm super pleased with it and I think it's going to be a great uh, mounting system for this truck. So yeah, that's it guys. We'll see y'all next time.